Hi everyone, now what we've got here, now this is a Tinkara style fly tied, this is a water hen blower, it's quite heavily done, uh, if you were fishing this is a traditional water hen with standard style, it's tied it's, it's in a Tinkara style, now the two questions I get asked was, could I tie and quit a Tinkara fly, which I really do, if I'm really honest, and uh, it's something that uh, I do like the history, I love the theory, I look at people fishing the Tinkara style, just never, I've tied, I've fished the flies with my standard rod, a 10 foot 3 weight I used, and I caught fish with it, uh, and I kind of fished it the same the way that they present these flies, and basically up, keeping the rod very high and tweaking it back, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a link to a video or two, below this video just to show you, uh, so you can click on it and have a wee quick look. There's plenty of good videos out there on Tinkara flies. Now uh, it's basically, the questions I asked is to say could I tie one, and could I tie one in a, a style or a pattern that we fish here in normal wet flies, like this is a water hen blower. Now, uh, so I'm going to tie it, this is a, a first go, I, I, I finished off behind here but Basically looking at the body, it was a wee bit heavy, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it at the front the same, but I'm going to finish off at the back rather than finish off behind the hackle, and I'm going to work for the dubbing from here down to the back. We'll see how it works out and see what you think. Now I'm going to stick to the traditional uh, silks for tying the thread, uh, tying the fly. This, this here is the Peelzels uh, Gossamer, it's a primrose yellow. Hook choice, it's up to yourself, uh, you could use the chant, I mean, a medium wire to a light wire hook, this is a light wire obviously because it's a dry fly hook, it's a barbless hook, this one's from Fully Mill, so you can decide yourself, now I'm going to wax, it's important that you wax these silks, so plenty of salt waxed so I can tie the whole fly, I'm going to start at the eye of the hook, Come down maybe, say a mil and a half or so, to move the, the waist. I'm going to use one of the, oh, got a better fit, there we go. I've got the water hen, this is the, the wing, and I'm going to use one of the covert feathers. Take off, just take out two or three here. So there we are, there's one of the feathers there. So I'm going to remove the fluff at the base. Tie it in at the tip. So I'll delicate the tip of the hackle, I use my small hackle pliers, so I'll just hold it, draw back what I need, there's your tip. Now what I'm going to do is tie this on the top, so basically what I'm going to do is make sure this is tied in, on the top, just drawing back these fibres to see where I am, a wee bit close here, so I'll pull that off there for a reason, I need a wee bit more. Catch in, so when you go back a couple of turns, catch on. Now the wax thread will hold this feather. When you come down this at a distance, I'm going to wind the hackle. So I'm going to trim that away. Now, what you're looking at there, this is the front of the hackle. I'm going to basically tie it so I want to encourage the natural curve of the fibres to go towards the eye. Which is the opposite way we're trying to get when we're tying the actual wet fly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my, my case, my right hand, to fold the fibres. I want nice straight turns. Then one turn straight, next one just behind that. Just take your time. It's a wee bit fiddly, but you can, it's quite a strong hackle these, so they can take a bit of abuse. So it just encourage these fibres forward. And then catch the stem in, two or three turns. Take away your hackle pliers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this on, keeping the stem slightly on my side. And there we are, there's your hackle. Now what I'm going to do here, because the other one I finished off behind, I'm going to try and, I'm going to finish off at the back. I've done that quite a few times over the years with these flies. 
Now I've got mole for the, the body. So, so I just pinched off some. Just gonna put the hook to the side just now and wax my thread. Plenty of wax on. It's a wee short fibre. This is where I like to wax the thread, especially a short fibre. Now I'm gonna spin my bobbin holder anti-clockwise. This will flatten the thread. Now what I'm gonna do here is just apply the van uh, the dubbing to the, the thread. With my finger, just lightly does it. And then keeping my finger at the bottom and come in so basically 90 degrees from the stem, I'm going to spin the bobbin holder. The reason I'm doing that is to stop the bumps of the bobbin holder knocking the, the dubbing off. Now it's starting to spin. Now I'm going to allow it to just dub and twist it onto the thread. Now I've got a couple of bits I've missed there. Just take them away. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work up to the, the hackle. And then I'm going to quickly come down. Stretch this out a wee bit. Take away what I don't need. And then what finish at the back. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put a wee tiny bit of varnish on the hook here. And then what finish onto it. One uh, three, like a small tag of the thread. Oh, get some varnish here. Some varnish has come onto my thread. I don't watch that. What's going to happen? That's going to stick. What a place to get this. So I'm just going to take my time, be patient with it, pluck away to remove this. Being stubborn. This is what happens with fly tying. You need to be patient. See how that looks. And then I'm going to pull. Tighten up. Nice and tight. That should set it okay. Trim my thread away. And there we are. And that's Call it what you like. I mean, it's a water hen blower. It's tied Tinkara style. I mean, if there's some ideas within this that you get, then obviously use it. I can see that there's a wee bit of that varnish still there that I couldn't get rid of. So I'm just gonna scrape it with my dubbing needle. Yeah, it's there. You can see it. Sometimes you get a wee build up in your in your bobbin holder, and it comes onto your thread. See, that's there. And there we go. If you want to be a wee bit safe about it, just I'm just going to draw the, the dubbing forward here. Just a wee touch of varnish just onto the, the hook and onto the thread there. And allow that to dry. And there we go. It's your water hen blower, tied in Takara style, hopefully in a, a way you like. You can get some ideas, as I say, for it. I, I'm not an expert. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It's just a bit of fun. That's what fly tying is all about. It's just fun tying your flies, trying, experimenting. If you get some good ideas within that, then use it. If you don't, then uh, it's, it's better than watching paint dry, as I say. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.